Good morning readers. I, Harish Budhu, warmly welcome you to my channel. Learn as much as possible from my handwritten articles. Open letter to the Prime Minister. Part 26. This 6th of September 2020. The Prime Minister is foolishly reviewing the then private military of Ramgulam, Bichu and Saw Ornak, voice of Hindu, by stupidly giving them glucose, tonic and serum. The criminals had set fire to my house plus created racial tensions at many places. Mr. Prime Minister. 1. Warm greetings. This early Sunday morning 26th letter of the series will be a short one. We will raise two of the main topical issues, which do not necessarily fall under your ministry or responsibility, and that even though as Prime Minister of the country, you wield enormous power. Also, we have to cater for our Facebook and YouTube friends, especially the young ones. Be that as it may, welcome. 2. For the attention of students. Refer to the last 4th of September 2020 letter. A. We had underlined 22 English expressions for you. Remember. We are still learning. It should never stop. And that till your last breath. If not, you will develop a mental blockade. You have to learn from your own mistakes, also from those of others, especially and especially, those of history. Got the message? B. Any case in point? Well, the present Prime Minister is a typical example. His repeated foolish mistakes, nay, blunders, are all clear proof of his inability to think out, carefully, big and outside the box. That is on patent, friends. Never stop learning. 3. For the attention of the Commissioner of Police. A. Today's views are but a follow-up to all those of the past opinion papers, on the criminal activities of the Voice of Hindu, commonly known as VOH. Rest assured Mr. Commissioner of Police, that we are neither afraid of or obsessed by them. Nor haunted by the fear, that they might attack me again or set fire once more to my house. B. Believe you me, the Prime Minister is foolishly reviving them giving them glucose and serum and providing them with tonic, to give them more energy and strength. The Prime Minister will soon realize the extent of his foolishness. See, that said, consider a few more criminal activities of the voice of Hindu. 1. We are in the electoral period of 2010. The voice of Hindu criminals were present when the roads of my village were being asphalted. It was an electoral bribe by the then Minister of Public Infrastructure, Anil Baju. Just imagine, only the road before my house was not asphalted. Do not forget, Voice of Hindu was under the command of the then Prime Minister, Navin Ram Gulam and his number one mistress, Saw Ornak. 2. The Voice of Hindu was operating for whoever paid them more. For McSwatchuni's intermediate court case, he was arrested for taking bribes. The voice of Hindu had evaded the court premises. Chuni's lawyer had threatened to withdraw. The voice of Hindu thugs were paid 100,000 rupees. True, Chuni's case was withdrawn only because of a technical point. 3. Once, a father came to see me in 2005 or so. He was a Hindu. His son had a Muslim girlfriend. They had attacked the son just because the Muslim family had paid them handsomely. 4. There were some street demonstrations, by a few businessmen, in Port Louis. The voice of Hindu thugs were paid. 5. We have already referred to a case when the voice of Hindu had asked me 100,000 rupees, as protection money, to hold a public meeting at La Louise in 2003 or 2004. The police were in their pockets, and both Navin Ram Gulam and Saw Ornak were solidly behind them. 6. Today, the voice of Hindu is behind the Grand Basin so-called gathering. On a Sunday, some 3,000 people got to pray there. A foolish rich man is helping them. The voice of Hindu will extort money. 7. We had denounced Navin Ram Gulam when his police and private voice of Hindu army were terrorizing Saw Ornak's husband. There were three open letters in Sunday Vani. And the price? Ram Gulam closed down that weekly by 
withdrawing all paid advertisements of government plus unleashing his voice of Hindu bouncers to threaten, terrorize and assault all the Sunday Vani vendors. Thus died that weekly which had greatly contributed, to help the sale by levy and money lenders victims plus in other liberation movements. 8. In conclusion. Reopen all their criminal activity inquiries. Ask the Mauritius Revenue Authority and the Independent Commission Against Corruption to comb the bank accounts of the main leaders. You mark my words. They will soon create racial tensions. To be continued. Keep reading, keep learning. Like and subscribe for more thrilling articles. Thank you for watching.